All right, so Beyonce's stepdaddy spoke up for her when TMZ decided to ask a very retarded question. And I mean that, you know, uh, well, it wasn't TMZ. It was one of the reporters being an idiot. I don't know which one it was, but I wish I knew so I could curse them out. But TMZ posted the article and the video, and I post the video on my blog. I cannot post it here on YouTube. But the article was titled, Beyonce Stepdad, Be Please. Beyonce's way bigger than Cardi B. And here's what they wrote. Richard Lawson. <clears throat> Richard Lawson is kind of awesome. No, he's really awesome. <laughs> he come on now. He smashed. He's he smashed Miss Tina Knowles. Come on, dog. She's <laughs> Tina Lawson. Excuse me. Uh, Richard Lawson is kind of awesome. He busts up at the notion Cardi B is bigger than his stepdaughter. We got Beyonce's stepdad in Beverly Hills Friday leaving the Palm, and he says it's no contest at Coachella. Beyonce leaves Cardi B in the dust. Tina Knowles hubby doubles down and says Beyonce is bigger than everyone on earth but does reserve the number one spot for someone else in the universe. But he cautions B had better watch her back because Blue Ivy's coming for her. Here's the thing, man. How dare they insult Beyonce by comparing her and Cardi B? Now, wait, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. And, and this is no shade, but hold on a second. Because Beyonce is the, the big, li literally Beyonce is the biggest musician on the planet. But hold on a second. They have a who'd you rather with a pregnant Beyonce at age 36 and a pregnant Cardi B at age 25. Now, I know who I would rather stick my mean three and a half in, and I ain't going to tell y'all nigglets who I'm voting for. But what I am going to do, nigglets, hold on, I'm, making, I'm getting a screen capture of this. This is live, like 305. I ain't going to say who I voted for. Wow. 73% of people said they would rather smash a pregnant Beyonce and 27% said they would rather smash a pregnant Cardi B. Interesting. Anyways, that's live. I'm going to have to post it, post that on my blog. But anyways, um, as far this is my whole thing. Is Cardi B a star? Yeah, of course she is a star. Is Cardi B talented? Yeah. Is Cardi B fine as hell? Oh, yeah. Cardi B is very sexy. Um, she can get this mean three and a half at any time. Especially while she's pregnant. Y'all know how much I love pregnant women. But this is the thing, man. Beyonce is an international superstar. Beyonce can go and sell out concerts in freaking England, Russia, Ireland. Beyonce can sell pretty much anywhere in the world. Can Cardi B do that? Not yet. Can she do that in the future? Possibly. But to compare, Beyonce is somebody who's been around since the freaking 90s. Destiny's Child uh, made it in 1997, so it's been 21 years that Beyonce has been a damn star. Beyonce was where Cardi B is right now 21 years ago. It is an insult to her career, her talent, and the hard work that she put in that their careers would be compared. Of course, nowhere near as many people are going to be there to uh, for Cardi B as you're going to see uh, there for Beyonce at Coachella. But actually, in all actuality, it's actually an insult to Cardi as well. She's just getting started. Why put that type of pressure on her? If I was Cardi B, I'd be pissed. Why are you comparing me to freaking Beyonce? She's at a freaking goddess level. She's freaking Beyonce. You know, speaking her name is like saying the name of a damn deity. People worship Beyonce. Cardi B has fans. Beyonce has worshipers. That damn beehive is evil. I'm sorry, y'all. But a lot of them people in that, and I, I've called them out before. I've made numerous. You could just type in uh, Meat Magazine Beyonce Beehive, I, I guess. And I, I would assume that video is a pop up. As, as a matter of fact, I'm going to check this live right now. While I'm recording, I'm going to YouTube right now. Give me a hot second. I'm going to type that in. I'm going to type in Meat Magazine. Meat Magazine Beyonce uh, Beehive. And see if anything pops up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, multiple videos pop up. You can kind of look through them. Um, for example, I have a video that's over two years old. Hashtag Beyonce. Hashtag Vegan. Diet announcement proves her hashtag beehive or petty hashtag roar rant of all rants. I haven't done a rant of all rants video in a long time. 
Let's me see. What's another one I got up here? I called out the damn beehive. Their evil selves. Uh, let me see. I don't know. But anyways, if you just type in Meat Magazine, Beyonce, Beehive, you can see for yourself that I made videos over the years talking about it. Just make sure that it's a Meat Magazine video before you click on it. So that way I get those views. What's good? Um... Yeah, but I talked about them before. I'm trying to think. Like, what's another thing you could type in? Uh, yeah. But anyways, y'all. The point is this, man. It's insulting to both Cardi B and Beyonce that you compare them because of the simple fact that that's putting unnecessary pressure on a pregnant woman, Cardi B. And you're comparing somebody who's a legend Beyonce to somebody who literally just got started like a few years ago. So, you know, a lot of people forget that Cardi B was making um, mixtapes and whatnot. People forget about that. You know, uh, they just want to go and, uh, you know, they just want to go and talk about um, the music that she just put out the last six months or so and act like as if she just sprung up out of nowhere. And that's not true. Cardi B did put in work. Nowhere near as much as what Beyonce did, but then again, she's just getting started. So, um, comparing Beyonce and Cardi B is like comparing not apples and oranges. It's like comparing apples and steak. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, it, they're just two completely different things. Okay, damn it. It's, it, it's, 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 a, it's an insult to both of them, in a way. <sighs> but anyway, this is all my opinion. What do I know? Just a Beyonce and Cardi B fan with the microphone. Love them both. You know, I hope they both sell a million damn records this year. Uh, two beautiful, talented MILFs. They can both get this mean three and a half. Um, I wouldn't pull out of either one of them. Uh, they both have big booties. They're both cute in the face. They're both light-skinned. Everything I like. Um, I niggle it. So let me know what y'all think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. Looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when new videos get posted. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. What do you think about this hashtag war on pretty? Now they got the video talking to Beyonce's stepdad comparing these two beauties with big booties. These two light-skinned big butt women. And then they're going to go have a who you rather bust a thunder nut in poll. Where what what was the what was the score again? Seventy three percent said Beyonce, twenty seven percent said Cardi B. Why are they even posting something like that? <laughs> but anyways, Meat Magazine. Oh, by the way, I ain't no goddamn blogger. Anybody who's saying I'm a blogger is the devil. But anyways, uh, so what do you guys think? Do you think that I'm right that there is in fact a war on pretty? And uh, the media is definitely trying to uh, pit women against each other. Are you are you <laughs> are you convinced now between one article and then this poll comparing them? Do you see? Listen, I ain't playing when I tell you there's a war on pretty out here. Y'all dumb dumbs are fearful of the Blair Witch. You need to be worried about that hashtag Whoopi Ghost. That ghost of Whoopi Goldberg is out here uh, infecting heifers and making people fight for no reason. Now, they, they ain't fighting yet, but <laughs> um. It looks like TMZ is trying to start something. It's like they try to start something with Nikki now. It looks like they're trying to start something with B too.